All right, guys, this is not a video on how much money Hayes makes. It's not one of those videos. I don't even count my money anymore. I rarely even get cash. I got cash today for some reason. But normally I get cash app or PayPal or something like that or credit cards. Uh, this is just a video of how if you're diligent and you don't give up and you do good work and you don't guess, you always test everything as a mobile mechanic, a plumber, electrician. If you don't guess, uh, there's plenty of people out here that will spend the money that you want and it's worth it. I mean, it's worth it. There's plenty of people out here that will spend a uh, hundred dollars to get a battery replaced and get it and get everything checked at the same time so they won't be just be calling another mechanic out there the battery was dead yes but the alternator was bad too so then you're calling another mechanic out there you don't have to do that with me i'm going to test everything for you because i don't want you to call me back for a problem that i should have got or should have uh for a problem that i should have detected the first time i was there and that's why people, I think that's why people call me or I'm just a hell of a guy <laughs> or they like Ace. That's more than likely it. They like Ace because Ace keeps my business going. So anyways, guys, that's it. And that is an average day for me. We just picked up another 125. We made 175 earlier and we made 200 on that other job. So that's three jobs, 200, 375, 475, 500 bucks. That's about my average on a daily basis anyways, but I don't count, it just sits in the bank and I do investments, uh, TD Ameritrade and I buy cars and you guys so see what I did. I've been making videos on, on Facebook for, I don't know if you remember, since 2011 or 12, something like that. And when I first started making Facebook videos, I just really wanted to get my name out there because I didn't know too many people in Jackson yet. So I'm making videos, hey, I can do this, a head job, you know, time and belt, yeah. Way back then, I was just putting video, break jobs, I was putting videos to let you guys know there's a mobile mechanic and I can do this kind of stuff. I'm a shop mechanic. I'm a shop mechanic, man. I can do that, I can fix that for you. Just trying to get my name out there. So that's why I tell everyone that's, uh, that's that wants to be self-employed, make videos, man. Make videos, post them on Facebook, Instagram. Let people know this is what you do and be consistent about your videos. Be consistent about the videos and just those videos that you post on those social media platforms are gonna get you, a, when you first start, they're gonna get you a job, at least one job a week, you know, and you're getting 100% and you're not getting, you know, a percentage, 15%, 25% because you work for a company, you're gonna be getting 100%. You're gonna be getting the entire pie. So you do three jobs a week you might be able to survive and pay your bills for the month. Just one job. I mean, you're probably gonna get more, but just one job, and then you'll start getting motivated about what you do and how you do things. You're gonna be wanting to create new ideas or learn something else about your trade that can make you money in the future to support yourself, to, to survive. And right now, it's really not about survival for me anymore. Hey, man, I can do this. It's about uh, it's about growing. It's about uh, doing something new. Just just it's just a new stepping stone for me. You know, I don't even you know. I remember when I first started making like my first, let's say my first two hundred dollar day back way back. 13, 14 years ago, and I got all excited, man, $200, I made $200 today. And I was out working for 12, 15 hours that day. Yeah, almost every day. Sometimes I'd come home with 125 all day, 12 hours. But that's what it takes. It takes a lot of hours in the beginning. You have to be seen out there. You, you have to be known. You gotta be posted yourself on social media. You gotta, you gotta put yourself out there. 
and you can't be embarrassed about nothing because you don't have any tools or you know you have very little tools or your truck's raggedy you can't be embarrassed about any of that because even i had some a messed up truck and you know not not a lot of tools and uh but i kept pushing on and no matter what people say about you you just keep on pushing keep on pushing and then six months later when you got new stuff new tools you're breaking out new techniques then people are going to realize he's serious about this and they'll keep your number in their phone and they'll always call you as long as you do good work and you don't test you don't guess you always test you always verify the concern before you do anything Oh, no matter what you're talking about, plumbers, hairdressers, you know, whatever your job is, always verify the concern and then attack that concern. Make sure you fix everything or let them know what else you see that you might want to be, that you might want to uh, think about getting done in the future. Preventive maintenance. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Taze Mobile Auto Repair in Ridgeland, Mississippi. AC Waste. We're out. Peace.